Bonjour, it's sales time, so it's the best shopping in Paris this week on Travelling Fabulously. Come on, let's shop. Whatever I do, I always try to do it fabulously. So why not join me on Travelling Fabulously? Right behind me is our first stop, Deloran. Anything a foodie could dream of to have in a kitchen is from Deloran. It is the oldest cooking store in Paris. Filled with copper pots that are extremely cheaper than those you can get in the States or even in Australia, Deloran has everything a cook can desire, right down to really large rolling pins. They have a unique sales system where each item has a code that you need to go look up to see what the price is from one of the books displayed around the store. Every year on Rue de Mail, they celebrate all things linen by putting up these lampshades up and down the street. Rue de Mail is actually full of great linen and fabric shops where you can get rugs, curtains and the like. The lampshade festival happens each year in January. Galleries Vivienne in the first has some fantastic shops. Let's go check some of them out. First stop, Mad and Len, like Madeleine. Bonjour. Bonjour. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Un peau pourri. Ah, well, say crystals. Oui, so yeah. clear semi precious. Uh, oui. Simple. Uh, yes, it's oui. oil. It's ah, just over there. Okay. Yeah, exactly the same with the amber or <gasps> with the lava stones. They also sell a range of candles made in the south of France. The amazing cast iron pots that the candles are made in are from Morocco and are truly divine. Next door is the Emilio Roba Studio, which is a florist, so to speak, full of quality fake flowers and plants. Go downstairs in the store to see the array of flowers they have. It will truly astound you. Finally, La Part is a paper light store. The designs are here in France, but the actual lights are made in Thailand. So, I'm just about to show you a shop where all the products are made in France from monks. That's right, monks. They do hand creams, they do food products, they do alcohol, they do everything. Let's go check the shop. The Comte de Zabies is not owned by any church, but it's an independent supplier of these fantastic products. Spices, jams, honey, alcohol, face creams even. You name it, they probably have it. The monks and the nuns have been very busy. Makes me want to become a monk. Why not? Make fabulous things, live a life of celibacy. Maybe not. No. Not becoming a monk. Nope. We might not all have the budget to shop there, but a fab place to window shop if you don't have it is the Plaster Vendome. Berger behind me, and I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, is a really exclusive watch brand. I went in there once with my friend, my bum. Yes, he might get shorts. I'm not sure they were really interested in serving me. Sorry it wasn't one of those pretty women moments where I could go in there with all my bags later and say, mm, look what you missed out on. They'd give me champagne at you though. Mickey Moto, Dior, Chanel. Oh, how we can dream. One day I will be able to buy something here, I hope. Mm, maybe, one day, maybe a key ring. With all the labels here in Place de Vendôme and along Rue Saint-Honoré, you can do more than just window shop. Ladies, pop into and other stories, where the prices are a lot more reasonable and just as fashionable. Whilst exploring the streets of the first arrondissement for great shops for you, I stumbled upon a new phenomenon. Right behind me, a little bit of fashion dealing goes on. A store was selling the latest pink Nikes. Apparently, you buy them at the store and then sell them on the internet for more than double what you then paid for them. Maybe I'm in the wrong job. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Travelling Fabulously. If you liked it, then press the like button down below. Well, there goes that twitchy head again. Don't forget to subscribe to Fabulous by pressing the subscribe button. And if you really liked it, then share me around with your friends. You know how I love to be shared around. And I'll see you next week for more Travelling Fabulously. You know what I say? If you're going to do something, why not do it fabulously? With me on Travelling Fabulously.